Now the next one, management as a profession. Profession, it is uh, specializing in any one field like doctors, lawyers, engineers, um, etc. So this is the profession. And we have to consider the features of profession to know whether we can consider management as a profession or not. And the first one is well-defined body of knowledge. I think I need not explain this because we have already seen twice. So even then, there is books to study the profession and also to study management. And the next one is restricted entry. And we can see that to get into the IITs and to get into the engineering colleges, and they have to appear for the exam. And if they want to get into medicine, then they'll have to appear for the exam. Likewise, they have the restricted entry. The entries are restricted through some exams. Do we have something like that for management? And of course, we have that for management. But for management, it is not compulsory. It is not backed by any statutory law. For medicine and law and engineering, it is a must for everyone. Whereas for management, it is not compulsory. And presence of professional associations, we know that if we have to like after doing the MBBS also, they cannot directly start their practices. They have to get themselves registered in the professional associations. So All India Medical Association is there. They'll have to get themselves registered there. Do we have something like that for management? Yes, we have. All India Medical, sorry, Management Association, we have. But it is not compulsory for anyone to get registered themselves and then only they have to become a manager. It is not so. So this feature is also is not the compulsory one for the management. And ethical code of conduct. And we all know that if there is an association and there will be some code of conduct and they'll have to abide by the code of conduct, they'll have to follow the code of conduct and even they are going against that and it is punishable for them. So all these things are applicable to all the professional courses we are seeing. As there is a management association, code of conduct is also there. As it is not compulsory for a person to get registered himself in the association for becoming a manager, this code of conduct is not also applicable on them. So this feature is also not fully applicable on management. Then we are coming to service motive. Take a doctor, take a lawyer, and they are doing service to the public. From their client, they collect the fees. When we are coming to the management, we are seeing that managers are serving an organization. They are working for an organization and they are getting the salary for that. So they are not involved with the general public. So this service motive, even though it is there in the management it is only precised to that organization where he is working so we can see that this feature is also not fully in the management while considering all the features of profession only the first feature that is body of knowledge the presence of body of knowledge is there in the management and all the other things even though it is present in the management it is not backed by any statutory law so it is not compulsory for anyone. It shows that it is not compulsory that a person to become a manager, he need a specific qualification now. So nowadays we are going towards that. That is different. In the olden days, or the, the earlier periods, if you see, you can see the managers are of different uh, like uh, graduations. Maybe in some family business, the manager may be even only like a school educator or something like that. So it is not compulsory. So we can say that management is not a full-fledged profession right now, but it can become in the future when once the, all these things are becoming compulsory for them.